Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Just released our Bachelor recap, and we have our first mystery of the new season of Bachelor, January 4th, 2022. Uh, a contestant by the name of Sam Jeffries. We're going to get into her. She shows up in a bubble bath, and then she's never to be seen of again on the show. Let's discuss. Do me a favor. If you enjoy the occult and you like this kind of irreverent commentary... Hit the subscribe button, like this video an odd number of times, and if you want to join the Patreon for membership-only opportunities, go to patreon.com slash Neal. 10 a.m. Pacific time, I'll be going live today as we uh, make another episode of uh, Bachelor Nation News. You can be a part of that and see how the sausage is made if that's what you want to do. All right, Sam Jeffries, here she is on Instagram, and shout out to Mike. Mike demanded more graphics and more graphics you're going to get. Here's Sam, right? She was on last night's episode. It was a fantastic first episode. Registered and licensed doctor of occupational therapy. And let's play uh, uh, a clip. Oh, anyway, this is just a photo here. A clip of her entrance. She's uh, doing the bubbly. Some sort of like, um, it looks like the type of trough a pig would eat out of. Again, that's no offense to her. It's just the uh, bath they put her in. Sort of a plastic bath on wheels with some of those extra bubbles there because they don't want, uh, you know, the sensors over there at ABC's Disney to to throw a fit. You know, you can uh, make love in a yurt, but God forbid you show a little wedgie in a bikini. So uh, here's what she wrote um, just an hour ago. Well, 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 look what the handlers rolled in. Tell me you're on The Bachelor for the right reasons without telling me you're on the right, you're on for the right reasons. Disappears after entrance. Clayton and I privately talked night one. He was attentive, charming, and kind. However, our romantic connection is important in a relationship, and I've made it a point in my life to not force anything I'm not feeling. As much as I wanted to stay, it would, have, it would not have been fair to try to take his heart as well as take the opportunity away from a woman who was all in. Although my time did not last long, I know the friendships will last a lifetime. Good luck, Clayton. I'm rooting for you. She posts, and of course, our buddy, friend of the podcast, Brendan Quinn says, I mean, what an entrance. <laughs> Anyone else over there? Pardeep says, simple and clean. Pardeep sliding in the old DMs right there. There it is. And look, I mean, uh, you know, as far as Pardeep is concerned, she's a single lady. So shoot your shot, as they say, as the kids say. Now, she had an Instagram story, which was deleted. So it looks like we've solved the mystery because I was really looking forward to playing my, um, you know, uh, X-Files sound here. But we had this is what she posted on her status, you know, on her Instagram stories. What I wore versus what I wanted to wear. I have some explaining to do. Hopefully can this week. So it makes you wonder, was Sam's uh, uh, Instagram post, uh, uh, you know, kind of scripted by the producers. So it was kind of like, here's what you can say. You left, you didn't feel like things were working well. But was there a greater story? She says she wanted to wear this on the right. But she didn't get that far. Now, either it's tongue-in-cheek and she's having fun. Hopefully, that's a tag on the right and she saved it. Listen, like I say, guys, at, at, you know, I've never been on the show, but I can tell you from experience watching, put the leave the tags on your clothes. It might be an early exit looking at you, Claire, and you might need to return a couple items to Zara. That's fine, too. You know what I mean? So here she was. We didn't get to see the dress she wanted to wear. The question is, why didn't they show what went down on the show, why didn't they? Why didn't they air the conversation there? For sure, if she self-eliminated, that would have been heartbreaking for Clayton. That would have been worthwhile TV. Let's uh, sort by best here and see what people are saying because people were wondering this as of last night. They go, "Where's Bubble Bath Girl?" You know what I mean? And we love. First of all, we love Bubble Bath Girl. Shout out to Sam Jeffries here, right? She looks like a like a sort of a, has uh, that. Um, what's the girl from? Oh, geez. I'm thinking of every redhead at the same time. The one who's married to um, the uh, Borat guy. Oh, boy. And then there's Amy Adams. You look like both of them. You look you're very, you're very nice. Amy Adams and then the girl from um, Wedding Crashers. All right. doesn't matter. Um, is it, is someone, someone on the other end yelling the name. I'm sorry. Is it really that hard to stand up to the producers, or are they just that good at mind control? Savannah from Peter Season seems to be one of the few who refused to cave in. The producers wanted her to do the lingerie entrance that Kaylee ended up doing on Matt's season. Pete, yes, I like Peter Rubber's uh, podcast, has said on his podcast, you think you are so much smarter than the producers, but you're not. That's a great point. It looks like they are almost always one step ahead. Totally. He always says they know how to mess with you and really get into your brain. Peter's messy, but his pod has good insight into a lot of this stuff. All right. I didn't know how to say this without sounding like an ass, but literally everyone knows the producers are smarter than the contestants, except the contestants themselves. 
well, this is a smart contestant. So the question is, maybe she was smart by leaving. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe she had the right idea by 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 when she ended up leaving. So she had posted this just um, a week ago. This wasn't my first or 15th idea. So that makes you wonder, was she put up to this? And if she was, if she was like pressured to show up in her bikini, you know, in a bathing suit outfit, or I'm sorry, in, you know, in a bathtub, it does make you wonder, like, are we crossing ethical lines? Are there, is there an HR she can talk to? Sam, blink twice if you're okay. Now, of course, I just got the notification, as your boy did, that I just got a follow back from Sam. Where did it go? We might have lost it. There it is. Sam just got a follow back, which means, uh, Sam, we know you're on the channel here. So let us know what's going on. Let us know what's happening. Is it as simple as you weren't that into Clayton or did producers, and this is just my thought here, did producers want you to stay in the bikini uh, bubble bath all night long. And you were like, no, I'm putting on my champagne sequin outfit. By the way, cute dog. Oh, way to speckle in a cute dog there. That's a good boy or girl. Millie. Millie's a girl, right? Oh, good for her. Anyway, um, digressing here. I know some of you guys don't like that. Read a few more comments. So, so sometimes you can, you know, go against the producers, but you'll get no screen time or a bad edit if you do. Contracts. Ladies, they're not worth it. Anything for the chance of becoming an influencer. So it makes you wonder, did she did she go against the grain and they just let her go? You know, was this their way of playing hardball saying, not only are we going to kick you off, but we're not even going to show your exit. And if that were the case, why show her entrance, right? If she's not in any of the footage of the actual cocktail ceremony or the rose ceremony or any of that, she... Shows up in a bikini, which is fine. Do what you want if it's your choice, as long as the producers aren't pressuring you to do that. And then when it's time to change into her dress, what happens? Someone wrote, my pubes could never. Laser hair removal is a gift. But like on, on your lady taco, I've had laser on other parts of my body and it can hurt like an MF. Yep, everything's gone. I didn't really experience pain anywhere else in my body with laser hair removal. Wow, this this turned into a laser hair removal. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Sam can get um, some laser hair removal... Uh, you know, influencer gigs. Um, she just posted that she voluntarily left because she didn't feel a connection. Confused as to why they didn't just edit her out entirely and not even show the bathtub. Specifically, theories about why she disappeared and wasn't at the rose ceremony. If she left the show, I wonder why they didn't show it on camera. I'm guessing they didn't bring or give her dress back and she waited in the warm hot tub, but Clayton never showed up. But there are promo pictures of her in a blue dress talking to Clayton on a couch. So at some point, she did get dressed. Interesting. Her body is banging. I hate producers convincing the OT and the physician to be in these outfits. They have such cool professional jobs. I mean, good for her if it was her idea and she looks amazing, but disgusting of producers to push this on women. Um, so then someone wrote, this story seems to be gone already. So as we saw, the story sort of disappeared from her timeline, and then she posts the uh, what ended up being the... Um, let me, let me drag the photo here so you can see the, 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 the uh, extended image here. So this initial story on the right, she posted what I, what I wore versus what I wanted to wear. I have some explaining to do. Hopefully I can do it this week. She deletes that, reposts, and doesn't say anything about uh, kind of what she wore versus what she wanted to wear. But she did say earlier on, this wasn't my first or 15th idea. So it makes you wonder, will there be any talk about being put up to that? In the end, you'd like to think people have their own free will of what to do. But when you're on a show where the producers can you know, um, subtly threaten your edit, your livelihood, you've signed it away, you know, it makes you wonder. Uh, we know the producers in the past with people like Brittany Galvin chose to air a rumor that she was a sex worker versus, uh, versus not include that in the final edit. If they were so busy choosing to air that Brittany Galvin was a sex worker and then the next episode finds out that she actually wasn't, they just aired the rumor out. If they're, if they're taking such liberty to, add, to leave that in the final edit, why the heck didn't they... Put Sam in the final edit. Um, and anyway, we'll have to see how that all works out. Oh, maybe we won't. Maybe we won't find out. My DMs are open if you want to let me know, though. And if anyone wants to join the Patreon, we'll be there at patreon.com. Oh, wrong graphic there. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. And you can be a part of the membership-only community for as little as $5 a month. Leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't already for future updates and future videos. More coming your way. Bye, guys.